So, has anyone seen The Great Race? Of course, most of you Tosh fans have. If any of you not have seen it, or you've seen the trailer and you haven't, and you don't really want to see it, that's your opinion. I'm not judging you. I'm just wanting to know for facts. But if you have seen the, that, if you have seen The Great Race, then you should know that there's pretty specific comics characters in this, or pretty specific characters in general, or like customs or something like that, something like that. So there's the there's one version where Thomas is discovered with paint, another version where he's damaged and scratched from his crash, and one more from like jumping over the bridge to the mainland. You guessed it. We're going into Great Race Customs, but not random customs. We're going into Thomas Customs. Now, if you've seen a Pacific YouTuber who's made two versions of these, like he made only this version, and I don't know why he didn't make the middle version, but he made this version, the jump bridge, I think, by basically saying. And I really like these customs, even though all, not all of them have the same faults as others. So here's here's my here's my Thomas. I didn't give him any side rods because I strapped them off some him so I can use for other engines that I had that didn't have any coupling rods or side rods. So yeah, if I ever use any of these, I apologize for not for you not seeing any coupling rods on these on this version especially. The other version has only one. And the last version has both of them on him. So, I basically did what what another YouTuber did and just splattered all paint. But f but first, I put it some some white lining down there on all sides around there, and I also paint some green. I add some white on here, splashed all over, almost got on all over the the dome. Still a little bit uncovered. Then I add some green on his on his boiler thing, his steam thing or something like that. And the green kind of went down to his running board, so that's it. Anyway, here's his yellow sides. Then I'm going really close along with it. I added some yellow around there, and, and the green and white really collab there. Now, just a disclaimer, with the back lighting, it's really interesting. I accidentally went over it. I don't really think I'm gonna make this thing be a thing anymore. I really don't know. I, I it just depends if from the amount of likes you like. So if you like these videos that I made of these custom spotlights, please like and subscribe and post and get post notifications. Because, well, you don't want to miss my videos. But unfortunately, for me, I can't really get my notifications. Well, for the money fire, I can't, like, get them on, like, specific areas. You know what, I, I, I might as well say this, I am not getting any of my news. I'm not getting any of my views. Even though I'm subscribed and have my notifications on, I'm not getting any new videos on there. It's only now that I'm pleased that they still have kept the old version of it, of YouTube, before they changed to this. My god. Anyways, enough about that. Let's get to the other version. Now, here's the damaged version. And, his, and I just basically gave him some scratch on here. I also start giving him these, these coverings with gray sharpening. Also, the scratches I made were also made with sharpening as well. The specific pen I had, so I decided to use it. And I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look that good to me. I mean, I also gave the scratches on here look really interesting. If you add them together with this, you can tell that the cab is really scratched. 
Well, I wasn't really intending on giving these this engine a scratches or a mare. Or on the wheels. I really just wanted to give them some randomness and simplicity, you know, mayor. I also gave them some brushes and sparks right here. Alright, 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 let me just focus. Alright, here's the back. The buffers on here scratch as well. And here's the back detailing with some scratches down there. And the reason why I gave this engine scratched wheels is because well, I saw someone else do it. Thank you to what I mentioning. I mentioned a few minutes ago. Anyway, scratches are really intense here on the, the cab. I don't know why I gave him scratches on the cab. I really don't. But I gave him scratches on the cab. Running board scratches as well. And I gave him the green paint again. Scratched on there. It's still too. Now, this is the mid midtime version when he's at the steamworks basically now here's something i really want to show you guys the interesting one that's right we're going into jump jump versions this is the this is the this is the this is the thomas from the railway bridge jump set i this is nothing more than that basically he had like like wind streaks there. I didn't add those. Lots of streaks on his paint as well. Everywhere was streaks, apart from his, from his himself and like the black parts of his boiler. Well, mostly scratch marks, like streaks. That was basically it. That was basically the premise of Thomas. And I thought that's not good enough for Thomas. I want to custom make him so he looks more efficient. So I went. My, to my paint area, was, which was the kitchen. Don't worry, I cleaned up after myself. So I gave him, this is a long time ago, but I actually bended his buffer beam around here. And I also scraped up his buffer more up. And I was trying to bend the buffer, but then I just destroyed it during the process. And now I just had to go with that. Uh, it's basically the buffers. It's close enough because it has a gash there. So it's basically bend it up. Anyway. I gave him some green paint as well, and I scratched it him. I was trying to make it more prevalent that there was green on this part, but I accidentally put too much ink. That's because these are new pins that I'm adding to this, and I'm really having trouble making them work out with my kind of workage. Anyway, I, nothing much has changed on this model. I just basically gave him more. This version is the version that has more this two coupling two side rods and the scratches on the wheels are not prevalent to the ones that were on that one really just take a look at both of them after the footage is over anyway i really didn't want like giving him like this kind of like even like what he was before so i decided to customize him once and for all so i gave him a white lining on his one to end Gave him the same amount of scratches, but they are kind of more less reverent on here now. And I gave him yellow lining, yellow paint again, like as I did before. And you can see from this, the paint is not really on his window part, but here it is now. And now it's on the cab basically at this point. You may not see it because it's dried out, but it was there a few days ago. And basically the same kind of paint style. I managed to keep some of the paint off that specific black area down there. And and also to keep the sparks up. Because you know. Also same amount of paint down here. Now this whole gnome is almost covered with paint now. This side is a little less proper. The yellow started to dry up. I don't know why it just didn't cover it all up. Maybe I just, just wanted to keep it more prevalent than he's having a number one on his side. So yeah, I actually bent this part a few years ago. When I had the Thomas. And I, and that was it for that. Then I came back to this and now here we are with this Thomas version. This time with more detail. 
and it's more bent. Now I don't remember what I used for this Thomas with the bent area. Maybe it was scissors or was it something else? Anyways, that was that, that's basically my premise of this video. I'm just showing you my great race basic customs so you can replicate them yourself. Because you know, not everyone has these kind of paints. And if you want to know what I made these paints out of, check out my other video why shown Thomas and his brothers Timothy and 77 I don't I can't remember their name the 77 name what was his name I should call him 77 or Ch Charles Charles or something like that I don't know but anyway that's all for today thank you guys so much for watching this video and hopefully you can find something like this in the future. Or make something like this. That rubbically replicates the movie's version. And hopefully you'll see some custom remakes out of these customs. Now that I have three specific customs. I can basically like make videos with these. If I really wanted to. Which is really unlikely. But still I really want you to like this these these last two videos since they are hard to make and when I mean hard to make I'm talking about these custom engines especially because I have lots of troubles with the filming as I'm still having to film 15 minutes lower or lower basically so I basically have to try to communicate with this YouTube channel so I can keep my YouTube channel alive but you don't have to know everything about what's going on apart from the virus that's going around I really don't want my my whole family to get so our legacy can go on anyway enough about me you can go and like watch more videos while you're going into quarantine because no one can go outside right now but anyway this is Cars Jaden saying peace to all you out there who like who like to see my videos and goodbye everyone Goodbye. Peace. Do 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 do.